Hey guys, it's Gadgetcheck here and today we are going to be checking out how to root the Samsung Galaxy S2. So uh, let's go into the settings about phones and check out which firmware we are running. We are on Android 2.3.3 and pure stock Samsung firmware just as the phone would come out of the box. Uh, let's have a closer look. Uh, KG4, yes, that's the firmware we are running and stock Samsung kernel. Remember, rooting your phone voids your warranty but then it's well worth it. Uh, without any further ado, let's get into the video itself. So I'll be showing you my uh, computer screen right now. And here it is. Remember, I'm using Hellcat Droid's uh, kernel for auto-routing the phone. So I'll have the post uh, link to the XTA post below in the video's description. Please go check that out. Once you download it, uh, place it on your uh, uh, computer or uh, on a drive, wherever you prefer. Uh, and you should have Odin V 1.85 for installing. Uh, and remember one thing, for Odin to work or for it to recognize your phone, uh, you need to have keys installed, otherwise it won't recognize. I've seen many people complaining about their phone not being recognized by Odin. The reason is you don't have keys installed. But also remember that keys should not be running be uh, in the background when you are flashing the phone, obviously. So let's connect the phone to the computer itself. Plug it to the USB. Uh, and yes, uh, first what happens, it, it, it tasks for keys connection. Uh, end that, just press the uh, home menu or home button. Go into the settings and uh, applications, applications, uh, then development. And you need to check uh, debugging on. So for that, remove uh, <coughs> USB first, check debugging and plug it in again. Once that's done, Odin will obviously recognize your phone if you have keys installed, in quotes. Uh, so once that, uh, once your phone has been recognized, remember, after this, I forgot to say this, sorry guys, you have to put the phone on download mode, obviously, for Odin to recognize it properly. Put it on download mode, how you do it is the three button combo, volume down, power and menu button all simultaneously, uh, press them together, and there you go. Then once this screen appears, press the power button up, and you have the droid screen right there, as you can see. Once this is done, Odin will have turn yellow, the COM port will turn yellow, and you're set to go. Now open up the package that you downloaded from the XTA post by Hellcat Droid. You should have a .tar file inside it. Copy it to the same location where the original file was located. Hit the PDA button on Odin and select the .tar file that you just unzipped. Once that's done, just hit start on Odin and your kernel gets flashed. Now just wait for Odin to show the uh, pass message and remember do not unplug your phone till the pass message has not come. This is how your phone should look just after a flash, a uh, fresh flash of course, and you get the yellow triangle issue. Now don't worry, that can be reverted. I'll have another video showing how to remove the yellow triangle. So keep an eye out for that video. So now let's put into the ROM itself, or the rooted Samsung ROM. Remember, at this point you avoided your warranty. So the phone has successfully booted now. Let's unlock the screen and see if we have successfully rooted the phone or not. Uh, if your phone gets successfully rooted, you will have these two apps, Super User and Etsy Tools. Etsy Tools will only come with Hellcat Droid's uh, kernel. Uh, so it might not be there if you're rooted via, via any other kernel. If you use Hellcat Droid's kernel, you'll have Etsy tools. Now let's use the volume rocker up, power button and menu button uh, combo to get into the recovery mode. And if we are rooted, we will have clockwork mod recovery. And as you can see, we are on clockwork mod recovery. Cheers guys for watching. See you guys in the 